What is up people, this is Fire Session. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use custom characters on your LCD. In this video, I'll be using a 16x2 LCD and I'll be using one library that is IP LCD. Now this library was written in Python and it was inspired by uh, Adafruit's CAR LCD library which we have used in the previous videos. So if you want to install this library, all you have to do is run sudo pip install rplcd and that's it. I'll link all these pages down in the description. After you install it, all you have to do is just run it. I have a sample script over here. So the, the thing that uh, we will call is GPIO as GPIO. Then we will import RPLCD. And in this case, we'll be using only a specific, only a few specific uh, libraries from it. And hence, we'll just import those which are CAR LCD, cleared, and cursor. So in CAR LCD, we'll be assigning all the values for the LCD display, which are columns, rows, RS pin, enable pin and the data pins as we are using this LCD in 4-bit mode and hence we only added the four, uh, the 4 GPIO pins. Now if you look at these lines, these might seem a bit weird but these are the lines which would enable the user to use custom characters. I'll be linking this program down in the description as well so please check it out and Please don't ask in the comments for the code to be sent via an email because I just don't have time for that. So now let's make sense of these values. So for that, I use this site omerk.github.io slash lcd carrigen. Now, this is the site that I use to create all my custom characters. This was made for Arduino but it works well in any code. So this green box, we will be editing this to make custom characters. So if I just click on these, it will blacken them out. And these are the selected characters and these black dots would be displayed on the LCD. So let's make this test one. So just copy these and paste them. Over here, that's it. Save it, and if we run it, oh crap, Raspberry Pi went out. I'll be back. A few moments later. Okay, so it's back up. Now we will just run the Python script. Python cus dot py because that's the file name, and I'll just hit enter, and these are the characters which are displayed right now. Let's see how they're displayed. So I predefined the characters in the same way that I defined this. Then I change it to a character that is lcd.createCAR0 up1 or let's make it up. Now 0 would be the character name and up is the code. or the bytes for the LCD. Create car, it is a function in LCD car library or RP LCD library. Next, we'll go to the main part of the code. First of all, I just do this gpio.set warnings false. Next, lcd.write underscore screen string unicar zero. Now what this would do is it would create, it would change the character that we created zero into a unicare format and then print it on the LCD. That's it. It's as, it's as simple as that. We just created a font or the custom character. Then we added it to the code. Then we created a character from it. Then we just wrote it and made it a unicare.
that's it so this was a simple example now if i want you to make it a bit better that i want you to use this someplace else so what i could do is i could combine my previous projects so over here i have three characters up down and same so now what this project does is that it would gather the price of bitcoin and ethereum from crypto compares api then it would print it on the lcd along with the change if the price went up or down it is a simple application but it works then this is the code i won't be explaining it because it's in the previous videos and they are linked in the description as well also you could check out the playlist too now in the next part of this video i'll be running this code and i'll be showing out, i'll be showing this output So thank you people for watching this video. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications and see you next time. Tada.